everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Trevor. I will be your stripper this evening. And today we will be working on a 1966 Chevy Chevelle Malibu. Now it looks to be in pretty solid shape. It came with two doors, the housings for the taillights, a cow valance, and a hood and a trunk, but they are already in the tank. I've been working on those already as like test pieces for this car. And I can tell you what, this car is a pain in the butt. It has a ton of clear coat on it. So what I'm going to do right now, after we go over this thing is I'm going to take a sander and get through that clear coat. So it'll make everything a lot easier. If you look closely, it's like a gloss paint. It has like a soft metal flake in it. So once we get under this clear coat, this paint should be pretty easy, but let's be honest, I'm wrong. Like, 90% of the time if the paint's gonna be easy or not. Well, I'm gonna get this thing sanded down and then I'm gonna rig it up and we'll get this thing in the tank. See you in a little bit.
I just finished the first pressure washing of the Chevy Malibu. And as you can see, 90% of the paint came off. It appears that thorough sanding I gave it before putting it in the tank really helped because the parts that I didn't hit with the sander really didn't come off. If you look at the rockers there and then the door jams on the other side, there's still a lot of paint. But I think this thing's gonna go in one more time and it's gonna be ready for acid. Let's go over this thing real quick and see what we're working with. Up front here, you could see a lot of that seam sealer came off within the first dip. Around here, you can see a lot of the paint is still there, but the brown came off. I didn't really reach the sander in there too much or anything. Come around to the side. And I must say this thing's in fantastic shape. It's, it's in really good shape you're seeing about the bulk of the rust in the floor there but it hasn't really rusted through anywhere except in the trunk area the quarters are solid there was some bondo pretty much all over the whole thing and back here you can see bondo just breaking off In the trunk area, you could see they brazed a patch on there and it rusted through the patch they brazed. But everything else is solid. Take a look at the rear end a little bit. There was some Bondo on the trim here. As you can see, there's some residual left and some seam sealer. Passenger side quarters, solid. Well, I'm gonna get this thing back in the Auckland tank, remove all the rest of this paint and everything, and it should be ready for acid by next week.
1966 Chevelle Malibu is finally finished. We got this thing down to bare metal. And I have to say, this is probably the best condition Chevelle we've ever had in the shop. This thing is absolutely amazing. I kind of had a feeling the paint was going to be tough on this one. So I gave it a good sanding before putting it into the chemical. That way the chemical could get under the paint a little better. But it ended up being a pretty easy dip. There wasn't a lot of rust on it. And I can't wait to go over this thing with you guys so you can see how good a shape it's in. Let's have a quick look at it. So up front here, you can see the firewalls in basically perfect shape. A little bit of pitting, but nothing ridiculous. Come along here in the windshield, you can see some rot through there and there's some brazing. Some holes coming through and some pitting and along where the weather stripping was. Come along the side. We'll take a look at this floor. The floor is in absolutely amazing shape. There is a little bit of rot coming through on the other side. I'll show you that when we get over there. But this thing is solid. Take a look at the corridors. Super straight. Pretty much perfect. Along here, there were some bondos stacked up here and you can see where a patch was brazed in, but they did a pretty good job there. The whole way around, you can see. Take a look in the trunk. There was a little bit of rust in the trunk and some rock coming through there. You can see, and on the opposing side, that was exposed before we even put it in the chemical, but the trunk is very solid. Look at the passenger quarter, super straight. And here's what I was talking about before where it rotted through on the floor. I'll have to check back on the video, but I don't believe this was exposed before it was put in the chemical. There was some thick rust in there and the acid just ate all that out and exposed that rot coming through. And, but that's the worst of it on this car. It's still very solid. Now I love getting cars in here and seeing all the funky repairs and stuff people do to them. Patching parts with license plates and stuff. That's always fun to see, but I think Seeing a car like this is just so much better. Happy I got to work on this car. It turned out absolutely amazing. I'm glad they chose us to strip it down to bare metal for them. I'm sure they're gonna be ecstatic on how good a shape this thing's actually in, and it's gonna make their job a lot easier. I appreciate every single one of you watching this video, and I will see you guys at the next car.